Welcome to the channel. So in this video, I just wanted to go over a couple of free prints that I did for my KP3S Pro. Um, if you watched my review of that video, you noticed that I had a problem with my end stop screw and my fan shroud was kind of printed a little wonky. Um, so I fixed both of those and I also added a handle. Handle's really nice for moving this thing around. Uh, all of these things should actually work on a KP3S. Uh, not just this KP3S Pro, because they're pretty much the same machine. Anyway, I'm not going to show the printing of them. You know, it's going to be a really quick video. I will go over how I sliced them, though. So let's get into how I did all this. Okay, so this is the first piece, which is your end stop screw. Not a whole lot that you need to do here. You just print it your standard way. Whatever you're most comfortable with is fine. You do want to flip the model over, though so that the top is facing the bottom. That's really the only thing you want to do. Other than that, this thing prints just great. Okay, next up we have the actual handle. This is from Slice Engineering, and they give you two versions. One actually says Slice Engineering on it. I didn't use that version, I'm just using the plain one. Now for this model, you're going to need to increase your infill. I would do at least 20 25% because uh, it's a handle and you want it kind of thick. It has a contour to it, so you do need to turn supports on in order to get that contour. Um, it doesn't matter what type of supports you use. I'm using organic ones here. Um, again, it isn't necessary. You can use whatever you want because all you're really doing is supporting that bottom contour. Okay, for our last model, this is the fan shroud. And again, I didn't really need to print this one. Uh, you know, I don't know if it blows any better than the other one did. I didn't test all of that. It's just mine was kind of wonky. Uh, you know, for aesthetic reasons, I decided to change it. Now, when you print this one, you do need to have the top facing down and then the actual nozzle sections facing up, just like I have it, you know, you can see here. What we're going to do is we're going to have to go and turn um, supports on on the build plate. Now I'm using organic supports here. They're going to grow up from the bottom into the housing. So you're going to have to pull some out from the, you know, the center part. But again, with organic supports, they pull out really easily. Um, you know, this fan design here is really good. It's really minimalistic. There's not a whole lot here, so it prints really nice. Okay, so this is the actual handle installed. Like I said, it works really great. I used two uh, M5 by 25 screws to secure it. So, I mean, it's not going anywhere. And it has a really, you know, it has a really nice handle feel. Uh, Slice Engineering did a really great job of designing this. Uh, and I think it's a fantastic addition to the printer. To be honest with you, I don't know why it didn't come with one. You know, I mean, you'd think they would look at the Ender 2 and say, oh, hey, let's add a handle. But, you know, like I said, it prints really quick and it's a great handle. Okay, so here you can see the fan shroud installed and you can see the uh, end stop cap installed. Um, again, uh, I did not need to replace my fan shroud, but it's really easy. You know, there's just two screws here. The old one pops out, new one pops in easy peasy no problems now like i was saying i didn't need to do this this is my old fan shroud and i don't know if you can see it here that you can tell that you know cooling was not the best when they printed this thing out and again it's 100 percent functional there was nothing wrong with it it did its job it just didn't look the best and that's why i decided to go ahead and replace it you know i like the orange theme anyway but anyway, uh, you know, again, I haven't tested this, so I can't tell you if this fan is blowing any better than the old one. Um, you know, it is coming from two angles now. That's about the only thing that's different. And it seems to work good. Uh, just, again, I didn't test it. Now here's the uh, end stop screw. And this is fantastic. I used a M4 socket head by 16. And I can now actually lower you know, the end stop to where it needs to be so that I can put uh, half compression on all of my springs for my bed, you know, like you're supposed to. Uh, and 
everything you know levels out exactly like you know it needs to be and it'll hold its level and so again I, I highly recommend you do that one specific change so in conclusion again you know you can see the three changes that I made here the end stop screw is highly recommended and the handle is highly recommended you know just for ease of use you know for mobility there are other handles out there you know some have spool holders on them and things like that i just really like the simplicity of this one and I get the fan shroud you know i can't say either way um, i think it looks better than the other one did though anyhow if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and uh, as always happy printing <laughs>